I bet you've brought a lot of joy too. Right, let's get a check on the weather with us, Sarah Thornton again. Sarah. Will she bring some joy? That's the big question, isn't it? Well, you know, it's not all bad news for the coming days, but it's certainly nothing like we saw uh, last week, of course, with high pressure and control of our weather, so settled, so really warm. Some people might prefer the temperatures we've got this week, but there are further showers to talk about in the next couple of days, at the very least. But more of a breeze, which will push them through more quickly, certainly from Wednesday. Tomorrow morning, we'll start with the next belt of showers out towards the southwest. They're already starting to push in by first light, and it's a much Muggy old night, 17 or 18 degrees. For some of us, yeah, it's going to be a little bit uncomfortable for sleeping. Here are those showers rotating off towards the north and east. Now, there are some greens and whites, which suggests that you have got some intensity in some of these. We won't all see them. Again, it's that thing where you open up your app. Sometimes it says showers, sometimes it says dry, because they are hit and miss. Temperatures at 20 or 21 Celsius, 70 in Fahrenheit, about where we should be for the time of year. But this area of low pressure is very much with us through this week, which means we are going to be unsettled. Now, the focus of the shari activity on Wednesday looks to be further north. And again, we'll start with one or two around first thing on Wednesday morning. But there will be some dry weather but I don't think we can escape some of the showers coming through. The good thing is, as I say, more of a breeze. They're not quite as intense for us and they move through more quickly. But there's a bit of a cool feel, I've got to tell you. 20 Celsius, 68 in Fahrenheit. Here's a little area of low pressure that we're just watching for the end of the week. Looks like it won't get us until Friday and that's the current track. That might change bit of a breeze, but actually the uh, white lines, the isobar starting to space out, so it will feel more palatable from next weekend. These temperatures then, a little bit below par for the time of year. And of course, as I say, sometimes you'll see showers on this outlook, sometimes it'll look dry, then cater for wet weather until the end of the weekend. Looks like next week could be a touch more settled, Victoria. Well, let's hope so. Sarah, thanks very much indeed. Tonight's main news headline now and Team GB are off to a great start at the Tokyo Olympics, securing three gold medals in a six hour winning streak today. This means they now sit fifth on the Games leaderboard. And that's about it from me. I'll be here later with our 10.30 programme. For now, from all of us here, have a lovely evening. Bye bye.